Alright you guys, so once you have the design of your top fragment done and set, what we need to do is we need to add the brains behind it. Of course, for every fragment it needs a layout, which we just did, and the Java class. So in your Java folder, right here, go to your package that holds your main activity, and we want to add a new class. So right click your package, new Java class. Now for the name of this, I'm going to name mine top section fragment. Looking good, hit OK and check it out. And actually what I like to do is I like to arrange all my Java files on the left and all of my activity or layouts on the right. Alright, so this is a file that I just created and of course I don't need that stupid comment. But what we actually do need to do is we need to import some stuff. So import.android.os.bundle import android.support.v4.app.fragment and I'll explain all these um, as we need them in a bit. But import android.view.layoutinflator two more ones real quick import android view dot view who and import android view dot view dot actually I missed it view group there it was now there are some rules that we have to follow to create a really basic fragment. The very first rule is we always need to extend fragment. So we always need to inherit from this fragment class and that just tells our app, hey, this thing that we created is actually a fragment. All right, so another thing that we need to do is we need to override on create view. So if you hit Alt, insert, override methods, make sure this is sorted. All right, on, create view, hit OK. Now, of course, what this does is it says OK. So we know that this is a fragment. However, whenever you use it in one of your activities, what does this fragment look like? What of the, what pretty much layout are you using? So, you can actually get rid of this because we don't need any of that. So essentially what we need to say is we're going to be using this XML file. That's all we're going to say. So in order to do that, we're just going to store it in view. And it's a little bit different to um, tell your app that you're using one of these layouts for a fragment. What you need to do is you actually need to use inflator.inflate. And again, this is just a method to say, this is what layout we're using for this fragment. Why they named it inflate, I don't know. It's kind of a weird name, but that's what we're doing. So we're using r.layout. What is my name? Top section fragment, which is pretty much a reference to this file right here. And just some housekeeping stuff. You need to pass it in container. And this is just a view group object that got passed in. We're just passing it through and not flouse false come on jeez louise all right so after this we just turn view which is pretty much essentially a reference to this that's all we're doing so again those are the rules whenever you create a class that uses a fragment first it needs to inherit from fragment and second it needs to override on create view all right, so we have one fragment created, one part of our app. So the only other thing we have to do, well, it's not the only other thing, but what we're going to do next is we're going to create that bottom half, which is the good part, the picture, which we're going to memify. So let's go ahead and first make the layout for it. And this is actually really easy, a lot easier than this. So right click a layout and click a new layout resource file. And for the bottom fragment, I'm just going to name mine bottom underscore picture underscore fragment. And I also want to change this to 
relative layout as well and hit OK. So now let's actually do this through the designer because I don't know we really don't need to change that many properties on it. So the very first thing that I want to do is I actually want to say okay we're using that one image of me of Bucky. So on the entire relative layout what we can do is we can actually go to background property and if you click these dots it lets you browse your resources and they're actually under here so you can collapse color now in drawable remember that's where we stuck it and mine is named Bucky so I'm just gonna click that so this is a reference to this image and hit OK and now the background of this fragment is me right there now I know it looks stretched out right here but it doesn't really matter because this is what's gonna happen remember this entire thing it isn't the screen that the user is gonna look at it's only part of the screen so whenever we take these fragments and we stick them on the main activity what we can do is we can say okay for this fragment right here make it square so we can give it a fixed height and width so even though it looks stretched out right now it's gonna look fine whenever we actually place it on our activity so that looks pretty good now the only other thing that we need to put on here is two text fields so let's go ahead and drag one right on top middle and drag another one on the bottom 